what's going on? It's Alexander here, back with some more Evil Land 2. Uh, keep trying to figure this out. When I switch these, this row will fall. Will that do anything for me? No. These are getting me uh, to do that, I guess. There we go. Here you are, I can see the feet. Oh, yep. Okay. Get more uh, red on the table. We just won. Woo! That one's a bit easier. Who exactly are you? blue the way for him as possible. Oh. I gave him two blues. I'm an idiot. Do 
doesn't really matter. Um, nothing to do with a three. And we're dead. Let's go try one of the other ones. Okay, they have, don't have as many attacks, so maybe we'll have that better luck? Maybe? I'm gonna hold my breath. But I got four, why need an extra turn?
we go. I've been defeated. Impossible. All right. Let's go talk to the chief. What? You actually beat all those warriors? But in the name of the great turtle, you can challenge our boss. Jay Frost, Jack Frost. <laughs> not a soul. <laughs> Do you think it could be a trap? No, it's not a trap. No, at least I don't think so. In spite of their slight crude ways, the Vikings do seem to have a fairly strong sense of honor. I can't imagine they would set a trap for us. I think you're right, Velvet. From what I gathered, they have to fight with bravery and valor to get eternal life. I'm afraid of what'll happen to the mainlanders if the Vikings complete their tunnel and launch an attack on the Empire. I would say there is little to fear in that regard. Oh? Why do you say that? Think about it, Fina. Nowhere in the history books are the Vikings ever mentioned, which would suggest they never made it to the continent. Ah, yes, I hadn't thought of that. But then, whatever happened to them? I have a theory. Of course, I don't have the proof to substantiate it, so I'd need to locate the relevant documents and relics. But if I'm, if I'm right, something triggered a sudden melting of the frozen continent. What prom uh, prompted this assertion, Miss Velvet? I never told you how I retrieved my book. The one that allows me to use my ice power? Ah, yes. I must admit, it has piqued my curiosity. Never have I seen this like. Super useful, anyway. I'd love to get one for, my for myself. It's called the Book of Boreas. One of the three legendary Magi artifacts, along with the Stone of Time and the Magi Key. I stumbled upon it in the Great Library at of Genova while researching the Magi. I managed to translate part of it, which is why I can use some of its powers, but there must be so much more to it. The archivist Largo brought the book to the library after his southern expedition during the Great War. His account seems consistent. He must have found it in the land of the Vikings. So if I'm getting this right, your book leaving this place causes the ice to melt. That's one possibility. The melting of the frozen continent is a long process, but if it were to happen over several centuries, it could lead to rising sea levels. And the world would be covered almost entirely in water, with only a few islands remaining. This would do little to change my people's future. But then all demons will be gone. Hmm. Girl, I know you think lengthy dialogue is boring and you wish you could skip it, but we're discussing important stuff here. So stop snoring, will you? Like, uh, I do not think Mega Clink was the culprit, Miss Fina. Uh, <laughs> the snowman! He's snoring! How? Who? What? Did somebody call for me? Andy talks! Uh, who are you? Oh, right. It's all coming back to me. I was, medita I was meditating, focusing on the tournament ahead when I dozed off. You must be here for the duel. In that case, let's get on with it. Oh, but I haven't, I haven't introduced myself. I'm the Viking Chief. You can call me Jon Snow. <laughs> he, do, he doesn't look so tough, Cora. I don't know if he knows anything either. Let's win ourselves that tournament prize. I really hope it's the Magic Key Fragment. My father taught me to mistrust appearances. Watch yourself. No doubt this Jon Snow is more dangerous than he appears. A talking snowman. I'm dying to get a closer look at this new mystery. <laughs> Are you prepared to fight? Yep, let's go. Ooh. I feel this is gonna be a tough one. Um take that. I could have got the next turn earlier. Dang it. What is this? Whoa, and that freezes us? Um what? quite a few here. Okay. 
jump with that. Oh, he heals when he gets it. Does that make sense? That's what I'm going to do there. Three toes. Read him again. If we do that, he's going to get a bunch of dollars probably, but... Oh. Oh. Ah, I'm going to have to get that one. Stop getting rid of my reds! We need Phoenix ability. We can last one turn. This three down here is our best bet. Why do these three? Why do those three? Those will all fall down. Are there three any more? Is that their best bet? No matter what, anyway. Those all drop down. We did it. You're all truly great warriors. Though not Vikings, you successfully won the tournament. Congratulations, here's your reward. Got the Book of Glorious, extraordinary ancient tome that keeps its cool under pressure. Wait a second. Uh, another Book of Glorious? What is the meaning of this? It's a unique artifact. There can only there can only be one copy. <gasps> we made two copies. <laughs> Yet it is possible. This is indeed the book that Miss Velvet discovered in the Imperial Library. There must be a version of it in that era. Your copy is the one from the future, but both are in fact one and the same. Lord Minos, I'm impressed. I'm convinced you would have made a grand king for your people had the demons won the Great War. But, but what what but what good's another copy of the same book? We need the fragment of ice of the magic. And Ferris told us we'd find it here. But I don't know where the fragment is, but we must at all costs return this book to a to Arcus Largo. But why? I'd really like my own ice book. If we fail to return it to him, we'll continue this in the next window. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you then.